All right, we have a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am. Original paint. I've done one coat of Top Coat F11 in the garage, and it's been about a week. So I'm gonna do a second coat. I'm honestly, initial impressions, not that impressed with, with Top Coat. Let's see if we can uh, get in close. Well, to be honest with you, there's a there's a little rub right there in the paint. That might be hard to see. See that right there? There's a little rubs there. Let's try to get out of the image there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, maybe after it kind of cured, it looked better. So I just finished a second coat on the hood. And the swirl marks that I saw before are definitely diminished. They're definitely harder to see. So you can kind of see some rub marks here on the fender. Not like rub marks, but just swirl marks in the, paint, in the old paint. So definitely right there, there's some, you can kind of see them in the, in the image a little bit. All right, let me grab a new battery and then we'll do uh, some more top coat. Okay, so I've got a fresh battery. I've got a fresh towel. This is not the towel I used on the hood a minute ago for the second coat. Um, So let's grab uh, let's grab our top coat here, okay. and we'll do this fender while I hold the camera. You definitely got to work the product kind of kind of in, and you got to turn the you got to turn the towel often. It seems as uh, as you wipe. dry side and just keep working keep working the product see it like it's really kind of smeary and rainbowy across the paint initially and then when you turn your towel and kind of keep rubbing uh, it goes away I don't know. It's not a. I don't think it's a miracle product. It does look better. It's not. It's definitely not like a paint filler or anything like that. It's not a polish. The paint doesn't have the same, quite the same silky feel you get with wax. When you put, when you do a polish and then a wax on your paint, and it's just so silky smooth. It doesn't have that going on. It is. It's not gritty or anything. It feels okay. It's just not silky smooth. So here's, yeah, see, you can still see some of the swirl marks in the paint in the sunlight there. Like right in here, you can still see, you can still see swirl marks. This is, I don't know if the hype is really, the stuff is really all that. I'm sure it works well. I'm sure it cleans a lot of paint, but I got 17 year old paint on this car. So I just did this whole door and it does, it does as a matter of fact look pretty good. The paint is very shiny. It's very, um, it's, got a, it's got a nice mirror finish to it now. So it definitely looks good in the sun. So we've done like this whole side of the car and the hood. Headlights. 
So this is a spot right here. Let's see if I can get out of the... You can see the, the door handle here from, from fingers. It's got a lot of, a lot of scratches there in the, in the paint. From keys, things in your hand. There's a lot of swirl marks here. So let's spray it with some F11. And see what happens. Shoot, it does look better, especially right there. Bet you if I sprayed in it some more again right in there, I bet you uh, a lot of that would kind of go away. So, all right, it does it does kind of work. It looks pretty good, as good as you can get, uh, you know, without repainting the car. Is it worth the cost? Shoot, I'm, I'm not so sure. It's expensive stuff. Um, Maybe not pay full price for it, just get it on sale or something, but... I think it's an okay product. I think it's a lot like any other quick wax on the market to put on your paint for a quick wax job. Make the car shiny, make it feel kind of smooth, cover up some of the swirl marks. It's not gonna get, um, it's not gonna get everything. The difference being, I think, is that you can, according to the manufacturer, you can put top coat F11 on anything. So you can use it on leather and vinyl and your dash and they say that you can use it on uh, just about anything, but um, do I think it's worth the high cost? Um, not really. I think it goes on a little easier than some other waxes and quick waxes and things like that, which might require a little bit more elbow grease. But ultimately, I think you get the same result. Um, so it's not, honestly, I don't think it really warrants the, uh, the high price tag. Um, that uh, top coat is asking for their product so that's uh, that's my ultimate opinion is it worth it no no there's there's other quick waxes on the market that do just as good so if you're looking for something for your car paint go with a cheaper option so that's my ultimate opinion thanks for watching